Welcome to the Connect Tech Termination Demonstration Video for Non-Plenum RG6 Quad Shield Cable and BNC Connector Application. Before we start, you must ensure you have the correct connectors and tools. The correct connector will have a green colored identification ring. The correct strip tool is the CM-59-6. Note on the handle there is an arrow directing the direction to spin the tool. The tool is designed to only cut in one direction. Turning in the other direction may generate unwanted results. The correct compression tool is the CM tool. Ensure the tuning fork die is turned so the arrow points to B and C RCA. The first and most important step in terminating any cable is proper cable preparation. Cut off the end of the cable square. If the end is cut at an angle, this will cause your strip dimensions to change and you may end up with a shorter center conductor. Place the cable in the strip tool with the cable end up against the backstop. Allow the tool to close on the cable, but do not pinch the tool to shut on the cable. Spin the tool according to the arrow approximately three to five turns. Because quad shield cable has the maximum diameter this tool can accommodate, it is necessary to grip the tool for a deeper cut on the additional one to two turns. Leaving the tool closed, spin it around while pinching it, and then to remove your slugs, grip the tool and pull, and there's your completed strip. The center conductor is now exposed. On a solid copper center conductor, the cutting action of any cutting tool will generate a hook. You want to go ahead and trim off the last 30 seconds of an inch on all center conductors to remove that hook. Fold back the two outer braid shields and the outer foil shield. Leave the inner braid shield or inner foil shield alone. Insert the cable into the BNC connector at this time and push firmly by rotating the connector. Continue to push until you can see the braid and jacket in the sight window of the connector. At this time, this is fully seated. You may now put this in the tool. Make sure your back of your connector is caught in the tuning fork of the crimp tool and compress. You now have a completed termination. The user may now put a colored silicone ring on the back of the connector to identify it for purposes. Otherwise, this is terminated.